Okay, now it says I'm live. Hi, everybody. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And I also have videos on all kinds of other things, too, in my life. So, hi, everybody. Shelly's here. Kiki and Bumblebee's here. Bryland Farm. I had a big surprise today in the mail. I have it here next to me, but I wanted to ask you uh, if it's okay to talk about it or to show it, because I didn't want to do that if, if you didn't want me to. Uh, uh, hi, Diane. Okay. I will do that. I have a big surprise that I will talk about after I show you my garden pictures because I did promise uh, to talk about my gardens that I used to have. Uh, there's gardening videos on from different years, but there's no gardening videos on about a long time ago when I had the great big gardens because uh, there was no YouTube back then, I don't think. And I wasn't on YouTube if there was. And I wasn't even blogging back then. Yeah. Guitar guys here. I tried, you know, this is for good guitar guy. I called my son the other night for the exact reason was to make a list for you about the gut the guitars that he collects and the ones that he has. I got on the phone with him and completely forgot to ask him that question. So I called him tonight, but uh, he's not home from work yet. But I'll get it sooner or later. <laughs> Next call, I hope. Maybe tomorrow night I'll have it. <laughs> yes. I had, when we first moved into this house, I don't know if I've told everybody this or not, but before we even moved in, the man that lived here, we had asked him, because I knew I was going to have gardens, and we asked him, the sale had already gone through, but we hadn't moved yet, and we asked him um, if we could come out and cover the portion of the, the grass uh, with black plastic to start, you know, getting rid of the grass that was there. And he said, sure. He let us come out. We staked out black plastic, a big 20 foot by 30 foot place. And I don't know how many, it was a month or so before we moved. And then we let it, you know, it was the right time of year to do it also. I think we moved in in June and we had put it that on in May, maybe. So it was on for at least a month. And then we moved out here. By the time we got the house all situated in that, it was probably June. It had been on a couple months. Now, I don't know. I don't remember if it completely killed the grass, but it had a good start anyway. Um, my husband then took, took me to the... Uh, garden store and he bought a big Troy built rototiller it's pretty big uh, he told me it was my birthday present <laughs> so he had to do of course we had staked out what I where I wanted to garden and he had to do you know all the first rototilling. I couldn't do that. But I did end up using it after the garden was all, you know, nice. Then I could handle it. But it was big. Yeah. Uh, so that's, um, I have a picture of a garden that's just planted and you'll see the size can't really tell the size, but you'll see 
how I rototilled back then because did gardening differently then. And uh, there was no 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 till gardening that I had ever heard of back then. But this is this was the garden I had over on the where is it over here. Those were strawberry plants that we put in. And I put poles up because I was going to have uh, climbing. I don't know if, if they were going to be beans or peas, but something that was going to climb up those. Yeah, that was the start. That was the first planting of a garden. And you can see across the street, that's where the pastures are, that there's horses there now. Yeah. So that was the start of my vegetable gardening. I had vegetable gardens every year for probably 10 years. Uh, yeah, big gardens. Here is... Garden, garden when it, can you see that? Garden when it was getting, things were getting, were popping up and getting nice and big. I don't think these are going to be the same years. I don't, I don't, no, they are. <clears throat> but I loved gardening, as you're going to be able to see. Uh, this was another year because this is another garden. I would move my plants around, you know. This was another year. This was the year we had corn. Uh, where am I here? Back there is the corn. That's when the uh, raccoons came and stole my corn on the cobs. <laughs> so that was another year gardening. <clears throat> here's me in the middle of the garden and this is me in my overalls and longer hair and yeah farmer Shirley <laughs> uh, I don't know I was in my early 50s then <clears throat> So yeah, I loved overalls back then. I wore them all the time. Here's another picture of me and my overalls in my herb garden. Uh, where I'm standing and behind the garage, that's the white is the garage. <clears throat> that is all herbs in there. I had a big herb garden. And right here, that window you see, it was a, it was, my husband built that for me. We found the window at a garage sale or someplace, and then he built a box. And so he made one of those, uh, what do you call them, where you can put out plants when it's still cold, cold frames. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cold frame. I had a couple of them. And then behind me, those gardens were all flowers. And climbing up on the fence there, that's that's where the chickens are now. Uh, climbing on the fence, that was before chickens. I think those were all, that might have been gourds that I had planted. And then the gourds hung down into the uh, where the chicken run is now. That was sort of neat. And then I made, I should have brought one out. Then I made uh, <clears throat> birdhouses out of those big gourds. I planted the great big ones that are small and then go down and get big that you can make birdhouses out of. Uh, let me see here. 
I want to read some of these here. Victoria, hi. Yes, very straight rows. I'm a little OCD about that. <laughs> uh, Shelly has, has raised beds in her backyard of your new home. Good. You do rhubarb. I've never planted rhubarb because I don't like it. <laughs> so I never planted it. Uh, but I did plant too much of the first year was zucchini. I'll never do that again. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Janet's here. Uh this is another garden further down from the herb garden. <clears throat> yeah, I was out there one day. It's kind of blurry on here. I was out there one day, and the golf course is, like, right behind me. It's all golf course, which you can... You can see, this is all a golf course behind me. And, <clears throat> yeah, over here, whoop, over on this side, way over is one of the, uh, is the second tee, okay, of the golf course. And I was out there working in the garden, and one of the golfers came over and told me what wonderful gardens I had. So that was nice. This is a better picture of my herb garden. And there's hollyhocks along the back there. So, yeah, I liked having an herb garden. Even when I didn't have the ones, these anymore, I still have, I still plant herbs in the front garden. Then the pictures that I don't have, except on this iMemories video, is over in this side of the yard. And I only have, I only found this one picture. And it's only of the arch trellis I had. And if you go through that, if you go through there, it's like a sec little secret garden into a shade garden. Yeah, I did nothing but gardening and going to the garden store. I must have spent a fortune at the garden store. <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't worry about it. My husband was alive. <laughs> I just went and either used a credit card or wrote a check. Yeah, and that's all I got of pictures. That's all I could find. There may be a few more up there, but they're very similar to those. Yes, I really miss having those big gardens, but I couldn't do that now. Let's face it. <laughs> so I am satisfied with my tiny little garden out front that I made last year and that I got a lot of stuff out of. So it doesn't have to be very big. If you're only, you know, one or two people, if you can make a garden that's, this is probably maybe six by eight or seven by nine, something like that. It's not very big on the one side. And then I have another one on the other side about the same. But you can get a tremendous amount of food out of a garden that size. I'm so glad I have pictures, yes. Now, I tried putting the iMemories on another screen and seeing if I could run it and show it to you, but I can't get into the iMemories. It's telling me I have the wrong, uh, the wrong password, which I could have changed it. I mean, I have to go back onto my laptop because that's where I usually always looked at it. Maybe it's not letting me, because this is a different computer. I don't know. I have to figure it out. 
If I figure it out, I will uh, attempt to do that and share, be able to share the screen. I couldn't do it tonight anyway with this because I don't know how to do it on this YouTube studio. Yeah. Well, I don't know if anybody noticed. If anybody watched any videos of mine today at all, you'll notice that there's ads. I'm officially monetized. I have those pesky ads. They just come on. They come on when I watch them, too. <laughs> but that proves to me that, yeah, I guess I am monetized. So, Silver Owl was asking me, because she's trying to get okay to get monetized, and I, I, I told her what I did. She wondered how she could get to her watch hour. She doesn't know how many she has either. And I told her I finally had to actually push the chat button and chat with somebody to finally find out. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, yes, I guess I'm official now. <laughs> Uh, cha-ching. <laughs> I have yet to go on, and somebody gave me where I should uh, look at the cha-ching guy, whatever his name is. I have it written down. And he explains some things that I was wondering about. <clears throat> You're making your husband <laughs> and your dad watch you tonight. Oh, dear, Shelly. <laughs> it's a family event. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have officially arrived, yes. I didn't think it would ever happen. I can't believe it happened so fast. Look at the lighting keeps changing. I don't know if it's this. Well, it was doing it on StreamYard, too. This is crazy. I don't even have my ring light on. It's not that light in here. I have no idea what where that light's coming from. It's this white hair. <laughs> uh, Cha-ching King, yes. Yeah, for sure. I didn't think it would ever happen that I would be, be monetized or even get a thousand subscribers even. Well, yes. I feel good. <laughs> but yes, I got the biggest surprise in the mail today. Um, when I went out, they collect my mail of all my packages uh, that I send out from what I sell. And then when I went out to get my bin, there was this big, square, very heavy box. And I looked on it, and it was from... It was from the pink pegboard. So I knew exactly, because I've been on her website, I knew exactly who this was from. So I couldn't imagine what in the earth that this would be. So Stacy from, from uh, Brylan Farms has sent me a present. And can uh, do you mind if I read this letter, Stacy Brylan Farm? Uh, she sent me a little letter. <clears throat> I'll make sure it's okay. Okay. She says, "Hi Shirley, it's Stacy from Brylan Farm." Just wanted to thank you for the lovely trivet. She had bought a trivet, a uh, Langenberger basket trivet. It was ceramic. I had, ha I had kept it for a long time because it has a rooster on it. Uh, and send you a treat or work, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> My Goodwill stores often have bags of jewelry that I love to sort through. 
I pull out the nicer pieces and tell myself that I will list them someday, but I rarely do. If you have seen my YouTube short videos, you have probably seen me giving away free jewelry. Yes, those are the unbranded and medium quality items. I lot up the broken and low quality pieces into craft boxes and sell them on eBay for about $15 plus a medium flat rate shipping. I am sending you a bag of the nicer and name brand pieces if you want to list them. If not, feel free to share or donate them. I am really enjoying your content on YouTube. Keep up the great work. Stacy. I'm telling you, that brought tears to my eyes, I must say. I couldn't imagine. Uh, so, also, Stacy, you tape your boxes like my sister. <laughs> there was a tremendous amount of tape around this box. Of course, it's heavy. But I finally got into it and into this heavy bag, okay? And in this bag is another bag. This has to weigh, how much does this weigh, Stacy? This has to weigh what is it, 10 pounds. Yes, there is all kinds of goodies in here, sparkly stuff. All kinds. I have, you know, they used to have bags of uh, jewelry selling them at, I never really saw many at Goodwill. But when I used to go to Volunteers of America, that's another thrift store that's fairly close. They used to have bags of jewelry. But the last time I went there, I, I didn't see them anymore. Uh, I don't know if they put the bag, just bags of jewelry out because they do have pieces of jewelry behind the counter. But I didn't see any bags of jewelry. So, yeah. I used to buy, once in a while, I used to get, you know, a bag of jewelry. And it is fun going through, through them. So I have not gone through this yet. But I see some very interesting things in, in here. I did pull one thing out that I couldn't figure out how to. These wooden beads. I did figure out that this, it looks like it unscrews. But I was messing and messing with it and it didn't unscrew unless I just have to keep doing it and doing it. It has to open. You can't put this around your neck. <laughs> but they're nice wooden beads. But this has to open some some way. Pull it. Oh, could be a magnet. Oh. Well, it's not pulling very easy. I don't want to pull on the beads. Oh, yes, it is. It is a magnet. Wow, that's strong. That's like my GoPro magnet thing. Okay. Yes. This is, look at that. Wooden beads. That's nice. <laughs> this is, wow, this is fancy. This is like a whole collar that you would decorate, like to put a sw on a sweater. It makes a whole collar. This is all metal, faceted metal that's and beads. It's all, yeah. Look at that piece. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I'm not going to take this all out, but just to give you an example, I haven't looked at much of this at all. This has a tag on it.
the royal square length necklace, the royal standard. Oh, there's the opening. This looks, feels like shell. I don't know if it's shell or not. It's cold like that. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of new pieces in here with tags. But <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, these are cute. What are these? I think these are, oh, pins, little pins. This is like, a, here's a cupcake. This cute little pin set. <clears throat> There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Mm. Suzanne, here's a uh, pair of sparkly earrings. Like crystal, crystal earrings. They're for sensitive skin, too. Oh, my. There's just so much. So much. There's something on a card. I know it's in a bag. Oh, this is pretty. Now, see? this. I think this is a pin, a brooch. It's a poinsettia, I think, right? Looks like a poinsettia. Yeah, it is. How pretty. There's just so much. Thank you so much. This is going to keep me busy. What, what, what is this? You know, sometimes I watch Texas Gal Treasures. You watch her, Texas Gal Treasures? Is there a name on it? It will help list okay yeah i did find a necklace right at the top that said j crew oh this is minnie mouse from disney world's the keychain there's minnie mouse it's a little keychain something for everybody in here well, thank you so much. Uh, and Riri's here. Just sell what you don't want. They will sell. Yeah, I would. This will be fun to list, and I can list it right over here in my photo box. Yeah, I will definitely list some of this. If I keep seeing things in your store, I'm going to be buying. Yes, Shelly bought something today. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I. it's in the bin, I think. Or it may have gone out today. I'm getting commercials during the live. See, I didn't know what to do about that because it, it won't let you go on to get on unless you answer whether you want this monetized or not. So if it's interrupting, I didn't know how they would do it because I don't see them. So I will, uh, I will pick no next time during the live. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You just got an ad, too. Oh, dear. Yeah, probably not good during the lives. <laughs> He's seeing things. Uh, oh. So, yeah, okay. Oh, you're very welcome. What else do I have to do? I need friends, obviously. 
I'm here by myself all the time. My daughter's going to shoot me for saying that. Forget I said that. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Victoria, you mostly sell jewelry. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, Shelly bought a shirt last night. So it probably went out today. Probably on its way. <laughs> I should leave it on. Oh, dear. I don't know. Uh, you know, one time I was watching something, an old, old video of mine, and one of the ads that came on during my video was Gucci. I thought, oh, that's good. <laughs> that sunglasses, the Gucci sunglasses uh, video. I think if you never encountered that before, I never have either. So I don't think anybody has them going during live videos. Uh, yeah, you can turn, you can, you pick. Before you get on here, there's a number of questions you have to answer. And you can pick to uh, have them off during the live and put on, oh, later. Okay. All right. I have to read more about that. Uh, yeah. I just... This will just give me, this will be a whole day of fun here. Thank you so much. There's a box way at the bottom. Oh, here's a little box. They're sort of intriguing. Oh. If I could, if I could see, I could read this. Tanglewood. That sounds like a golf course. It's a it's one of those pins with the thing on the back. It's a little uh what do you call those? Like a lapel pin type thing. From Tanglewood. I have to look up where Tanglewood is. I'm pretty sure it's a golf course. There's a couple boxes in here. But, yeah. Randy, thank you. <laughs> you people. Uh, oh, it's a service medal. Okay. There's a school by you by that name. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty little pin. Thank you, thank you, Randy. You know, y'all don't have to do that. All my people have been here a long time. Uh, but this is my... Uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen that video. It's running at the beginning of things sometimes. The one of the music in it. I'm going to go through that bag sometimes on days I don't have anything to talk about. I'll just bring the bag of jewelry out. Uh, yeah. I forgot what I was saying. That's how quick it just goes away. <clears throat> Oh, well. <laughs> yes. We enjoy our time with you. Well, thank you, Randy. <laughs> You've been with me a long time, too. I started watching your uh, box openings a long time ago. Because you had lots of box openings from Fred up too, I think. Uh, 
Um, yeah. So, well, this morning, my morning didn't start so well. Oh, the music on the video. Uh, no, I completely forgot. <laughs> I know I was going to talk about that, but... <clears throat> Now, I don't know what I was going to say about, but I'll think about it in a minute. Did you grab a pick? Oh, no, I didn't. Shoot. See, that's why I have these little post-it notes here. I did write that someplace, but I don't know <laughs> where the post-it note went. Picture of Jack. Okay, now let me tell you what happened this morning before I forget that. I got a call from my tax guy. That's never good. Uh, down, He's in Florida. I sent all my taxes down there. He got them probably a day or two ago. So he's going through everything. And he told me I was missing two things. Nothing to do with eBay. All that stuff was all good. That's the stuff I worry about so much and put together. My regular life stuff, I don't even worry about. I just throw things in a box as they come in. If the envelope says tax document, I throw it in the box. Evidently, uh, I missed something. So he said, I had to have this and I had to have this. And so I had to go back to the bank this morning. And I got the information I needed and, uh, yeah, sent it out immediately, priority mail, this morning. So I had to do all that before I could do anything else. I did it right after breakfast. But it made me a nervous wreck until I got that taken care of. Yeah, I don't like anything to do with taxes. You don't have a channel, but you do order from ThreadUp. What do you do with all that stuff? <laughs> mm. But you you don't have a channel. You mean a YouTube channel? You resell, though. Don't you resell it, Randy? Yeah, you sell it. The music on the video. What was I talking about then? I don't know. It just it just uh, went away. That's the one thing that really disturbs me about getting old, older. <laughs> uh, is you know, that this happens. I hate this loss of words thing. And you can just forget entirely of what you're doing. You can go to get something in one room, and by the time you get to the room you're headed for, you completely forget what you went there for. So, intro music. No, I don't think that was it. Channel, but I like to resell. Give my daughter stuff out of the boxes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to. Uh, yeah, I did go through. YouTube has a lot of uncopyrighted music or music that they it's good now. Good, I can use on videos now. So they have a huge library uh, that's free. Then there's another place, uh, I have it written down somewhere, <laughs> that you have to pay for it, but it's not much to be a subscriber to this. And they have a lot, uh, tons of music too. Music when ads are playing. Nothing is 
jogging my memory here. Ah, uh, you know, a lot of young people are forget. <laughs> well, everybody forgets, you know, you know, sometimes, but. Yeah, it's got, I really notice a difference now. Uh, oh, well. I don't know. Maybe I should get some of those pills, what they call Prevacid. Prevacid. I saw an ad about that. Not on my, they should put that on my videos and advertise that. You've always been horrible with names. Uh, yeah. This isn't just names. This is all just everything. Yeah, Preva said it's supposed to be good for your brain. I don't know if it really works or not. Or if it's just another selling thing. I had somebody uh, that used, I used to know from the barn. Uh, I haven't heard from her in a long time. She called me this morning. And she's had all kinds of trouble. You know, I'm not going to give you any clue about who it is, but she's had all kinds of broken bones and stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> Ginkgo. Yeah, that's a, a more uh, natural one. Prevacid is, I don't think, is, na is a natural one. Some, it's actually, I don't think you have to have a prescription for it, though. I think you can buy it at the drugstore. Uh Prevagen. Oh, maybe that's it. Preva what did I say? Prevagen. Prevacid. Oh, Prevacid is for the stomach. I'm on that too. I'm on Asifex, which is probably the same as Prevacid or, or similar for acid reflux. But, uh, okay, Prevagen. You're a pharmacist? Ryland Farm, really? Oh, no. You're laughing now. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Prevagen actually works. Your dad's a nurse. He said it was Prevagen. Yes. <laughs> you really are a pharmacist? Well, good. <laughs> You know, I always go to the pharmacist uh, where I get my meds filled to ask anything. I never ask the doctor. I always ask the pharmacist. I told my daughter, too, if you ever want to know anything about your meds, because she's on high blood pressure meds now, uh, she gets that from me. Uh, I said, just ask the pharmacist. Don't, you know. Don't call your doctor. They don't care. <laughs> yes, we do have a lot in common, I'll say. Uh, how about that? And Shelly's dad's a nurse? We're just all connected in here somehow. Oh, that's good. That's how this whole gang got together, I think. Hmm. And your husband, too, is a pharmacist? Wow. And you have the most beautiful farm. And your chickens are gorgeous. You have the most beautiful rooster. Yeah. I was looking at, at uh, some of your chickens today. A retired nurse after 48 years. Wow. 
I didn't last that long. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the ER, when I finally went, uh, I worked half of my career in the ER and the other half up on the floors. Uh, but the ER burned me out finally. Uh, oh, you hire kids for that. Uh, oh. Well, I am so glad to have met all of you on this uh, YouTube. This really does make my day. But I don't know. I'm going to ask you what you think. Do you think... <clears throat> I think every single day is a little too much. I don't know... Is, is it too much or should I cut it down by a couple days? Should I take one day off, like maybe Saturday and then come on Sunday with the uh, <clears throat> with the uh, numbers for the week as far as reselling and do this like Monday through Friday in the evening? You should do what you have the energy for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to think about it. Right now, it's okay. I think maybe I need one day right now. I was thinking about it, and maybe uh, if I take the Saturday off, and then the Sunday sort of something different. And then do this Monday through Friday for right now. How about that? <laughs> oh, thank you, guitar guy. I really will have my son uh, make me a list or list of guitars. Well, he probably, when he sees I called, he'll call me back tonight. I have my phone turned off right now, but, uh, okay. All right, I will definitely find a picture of Jack, and, uh, and uh, show you that tomorrow night, and what are we going to talk about tomorrow night? I'll think of something. Uh, I have a whole list of things someplace <laughs> uh, oh here it is horse stories hospital stories nursing stories old homes chickens I just I do that when I video my chickens the gardens, I showed you a little bit. Oh, growing up in the 40s, that's a whole topic. My St. Bernard story. Yeah. Michelle says uh, some of the people she watches at the end of their video that they record, they do blooper clips. So the things that they cut out, if they're funny, they, they put in at the end like blooper things. She's always calling me for more and giving me more ideas for me, for my, because she's just about to start a channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I keep writing things down. You think taking a day off for me would sounds good, Judy? Thank you. I think so, too. <laughs> uh, your birth uh, name is Michelle Marie. Okay. My Michelle, my daughter's name is Michelle with one L. You have two L's. <laughs> I told her that's what she should name her channel, but she's still looking. She doesn't know what to name it yet. Michelle one L. There's none of those out there that name for a YouTube channel, and you can write it different ways. It's hard to find the name 
a name nowadays that hasn't isn't in use. Yeah. All right, before I just go talking about nothing here. Yeah, I like that name. I will close for now. Thank you for my necklace. Thank you for my bag. I am going to have so much fun doing this. Uh, I already have listed, uh, drafted things for tomorrow to put on. So I'm like ahead a little bit. And I will uh, see you all tomorrow evening, 730. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> I will be back.